What are the days of doubt, which you've mentioned earlier, um, when a Muslim is not supposed to fast? The days of doubt, that's known as Yawm al-Shak, Psalm al-Yawm al-Shak, fasting on the days of doubt, is when you doubt whether it is the month of Ramadan or not. And if you're in doubt, yet to be on the safe side of a person fast, whether before Ramadan starts, in doubt you fast. After Ramadan has ended, yet to doubt whether Ramadan ended or not. If you fast during the days of doubt, it is prohibited. As the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Tirmidhi, Book of Fasting, Hadith number 686, that when the moon is not seen and people doubt whether it's the last day of Shaban or the first day of Ramadan, and they fast, this is prohibited. Fasting because of doubt is prohibited. Because people have doubted, you know that moon has not been seen. So maybe it's the last day of Shaban or the first day of Ramadan. So why not fast? It's preferable. You know, when in doubt, why not you fast? Which is prohibited in Islam. Further, it's mentioned in the Hadith of Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1914, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that it is prohibited to fast one or two days before Ramadan because of doubt, unless a person is used to keeping the Nawafil fast, is used to keeping the voluntary fast, and it coincides. It means he's used to fasting on Monday and Thursday, and the first two days before Ramadan coincides, or he is used to fasting every alternate day and coincides. Without that exception, fasting on the day of doubt is prohibited. Further, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, book of fasting, hadith number 2327, that once we were there at the day of sighting of the moon, and people doubted whether the moon was seen or not, and there was division between the people. And when goat was cut and it was given, some people didn't have the meat because they were fasting. So immediately one of the Sahaba says that all those who fast on this day, they have disobeyed Abul Qasim. Abul Qasim is the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was the father of Qasim. So it became the day of Eid. If some people said saw the moon, some people said no, we're not sure. And they fast, that means they're fasting on the day of Eid. Even this is Yom al-Shak. So Yom al-Shak is of two types. One is before Ramadan starts, you know, fasting in the month of Shaban. And one is after Ramadan gets over, fasting in the month of Shawwal. So both these are prohibited because, you know, what niyat will you make? That I'm fasting, I don't know whether it's Ramadan or not, and you're fasting in doubt. So when a Muslim does an act or did something good, you should be sure. You cannot be in doubt and then fast. In doubt and then offer salah. It doesn't make sense. Mm. And that's absolutely very clear, I believe.